Have you ever thought about what would happen if your identity was stolen? A chilling thought, isn't it? We're talking about criminal identity theft here. This is when someone uses your personal information without your consent, often aiming for financial gain. But it doesn't stop there. Sometimes they're trying to sidestep the law or even access medical services. With the rise in digital technology, criminal identity theft has become more common than ever. Criminal identity theft can take many forms, each with its unique challenges. Let's dive into common types. Financial. They might open bank accounts, take out loans, or even file taxes in your name. Next up is for avoiding arrest or prosecution. Imagine someone committing a crime and using your identity to evade law enforcement. It's a scary thought, but it happens more often than you'd think. Lastly, medical. Here, thieves use your medical information to access healthcare or medications. They could potentially alter your health records, leading to serious implications for your future medical treatment. Each carries its own set of consequences, both for the thief and the victim. But remember, knowledge is power. Understanding can help protect you from becoming a victim. So, how does criminal identity theft happen? Well, it can occur in a myriad of ways. Criminals may use phishing scams, tricking people into revealing their personal information. They might also go dumpster diving, sifting through your trash for documents containing sensitive data. Some tech-savvy thieves hack into databases to steal information, and then there are those who use social engineering tactics, manipulating individuals into handing over their details. These methods can be sophisticated and hard to detect, making identity theft a difficult crime to prevent. The impact of criminal identity theft can be devastating, both personally and financially. Victims often face substantial financial hardship, dealing with fraudulent charges and damaged credit scores. More alarmingly, some may even find themselves entangled in legal issues, falsely accused of crimes they didn't commit. But the damage doesn't stop there. The emotional toll can be equally severe, leading to stress, anxiety, and a lingering sense of violation. The effects of identity theft can last for years, making it a serious crime with long-term consequences. While criminal identity theft can be difficult to prevent, there are steps you can take to protect yourself. Start by safeguarding your personal information. Don't share sensitive details unless necessary, and always be wary of unsolicited requests. Regularly monitor your financial accounts for any unusual activity. This includes checking your bank statements, credit reports, and other financial documents. Lastly, if you spot anything suspicious, report it promptly to the authorities. Taking these simple steps can go a long way in protecting you from the devastating effects of identity theft.